Hi, my beautiful Pisces. This is going to be a short reading. Well, let me not say that. Just a quick reading I'm going to do for you guys. Okay, for my Pisces. All right, spirit. Okay, my son came in here shooting me with his little gun thing. Okay. All right, my Pisces. This is a general reading. This is for all my Pisces out there. Spirit, can you please give me the message here that you would like for me to get to Pisces? Is there any messages here, any important messages that you need Pisces to know? Is there any lessons, any important messages, anything that's coming towards them that you need to know about? Is there any warnings, any good things here? Is there anything that they need to know? These are for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign. Okay. Let me use these cards. In the, wow, this is a mermaid deck. Okay. Oh, I see what the heck going on. Okay. Ace of Swords. Okay, so Pisces, like I said, when, it, when I do these readings, I don't know who energy this is, to be honest. There is something, there's some type of confirmation that's coming into you guys. You guys are getting some type of confirmation here. Do you feel that? Do you see it? Okay, because there's confirmation that is coming into you. You guys are getting some type of confirmation. Um, let me know what that may be. Could be in an, is, is for sure in a, um, it could literally be. It feels like this news could come to you um, through some type of feminine energy, or this could be um, through writing, some type of communication, but there's clarity here. Someone's giving you some type of clarity, some type of news. I feel like you should pay attention to it. Tell me more. Um, this could even be someone communicating to you. This could be a person in person that's um, possibly communicating you. Maybe this person is communicating you through email, texting, nine of pentacles. Okay, someone's communicating to you how, how they don't want to be single. Someone's communicating to you that they've been... In some shape, form, or way, somebody has is wanting to have a new beginning with you. And I feel like they're communicating that they don't want to be single. This could be you doing this too, Pisces. You could be communicating this to someone that you don't want to be single. Um, it's like someone's you you realize or the person realized or you somebody has realized that someone else has been keeping an eye on them. Um, somebody has realized that someone has literally been keeping an eye on them. Two of Cups. Okay. Someone's not making a decision. It's almost like some, you're getting some type of message or confirmation here that who, whoever it is that has been keeping an eye on you or whoever you've been keeping an eye on, someone's getting a confirmation of that. Um, and I feel like there was communication or confirmation here that's coming in in regards to whoever it is that has been spying on you. The reason why I say that somebody here has been spying on you, um, Pisces, and you're getting some type of confirmation in regards to this person. This person does not want to be single from you, away from you. Um, but then they're also not really wanting to be in a relationship either. Like, it's weird. It's like... They're keeping an eye on you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're watching you. You're getting confirmation through some type of communication. This could be through a download. This could be through um, some type of writing here. It's like the writing is on the wall. But it looks like this person has still not come to a decision here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, messages are coming in from you. And it's going to end up, you and this person is going to end up, it could be an Aquarius energy. Um... I feel like there's going to be messages that are going to come in to you. If they haven't already, you guys, there's messages that is coming in. Um, multiple messages. If it's not messages, multiple downloads. But it feels like actual written communication. Tell me more. Yeah. It's in a form of writing. 
See this person with a knight of swords in a form of writing. Someone's writing you, Pisces, or you're writing them. And it's probably about reminiscence, reminiscence of the past, the Six of Cups here. Um, memories of the past. Someone is reminiscing and you're communicating back because you are the Knight of Pentacles. You are the Knight of Pentacles. That's what it is. You are the Knight of Pentacles. You're communicating. You're writing back to this person. You're going to be communicating back to this person. Again, this wanted to fall out. Oh, this is Pisces energy. I think that was a confirmation. <laughs> you guys are the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you are the one who's like, you, it's like I'm seeing you really, really thinking about what you're going to say before you say it. So you could be taking your time, maybe in response to this person. This is happening to you. If it's not already happening, it will be happening. Um, this is somebody who has admired you for a while and who has been admiring you. This is the person that maybe every tarot reader was saying, oh, they're spying on you, Pisces, they're spying on you. I don't know if any of you was hearing that, but for some of you guys, you, you've probably um, been to readings and they were saying this. Okay. So what I'm seeing, they tell me more, Spirit. Okay, justice here. Um, this person could be communicating about some type of unfairness or unfair treatment here in regards to you. Oops, four pencils wanted to come out. Um, it could have a lot to do with some type of unfair treatment here to you. So yeah, Pisces, I'm seeing that you're about to get some type of written communication here. Um, and it's going to be about some type of unfair treatment. How they, someone here felt like they treated you unfairly in some way. Okay, tell me more. They felt like they treated you unfairly in some way. And they want to communicate about this. So you're getting some type of written doc. It's some of you guys, it's an actual a written document here where you have to respond back to it. For some of you guys, this is in a love context. So the Ace of Wands is here. Yeah. <sighs> this person is highly attracted to you, Pisces. They're highly attracted to you. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction with you and this person, or that, I'm sorry, this person has for you. And the reason, now Spirit is telling me the reason why this person has been really like spying on you and, it, and it's so sad because it was it, it seemed like it's really codependent the way that they were doing it it was like maybe like their everyday routine or every other week or every other month or every other two weeks or every now and then they would like check in on you so it was a little codependent right um because i feel like this person kind of did not i don't know there's something about this person's um what is the uh, there's a little, there's some type of insecurity here. You know, this, this person has some type of insecurity in regards to you and their relationship. Um, there was some type of insecurity that this person felt between you and them. Okay. And it felt like the insecurity came for, well, does this person even care about me? Like I care about them. Do they even care? Do they even have any emotions or feelings? Um, this person wants to have like a new passionate start with you. Okay. And for some reason, they feel like if they have some, if they create this new passionate start with you, um, that maybe this could lighten the blow a little bit, maybe especially with something here with some type of unfair treatment. The unfair treatment can be a lot of things. It can be um, what they have done to you, what they haven't done to you, um, them not communicating to you. There's a lot of different things here that falls under unfair treatment. Tell me more, Spirit. But I feel like this person is wanting a new passion to start with you, right? Page of Wands. They're communicating with you. They're communicating with you. Okay, so somebody here is about to communicate to you that they're wanting to move forward with the situation. And with the devil in reverse, they want to leave another, they want to leave a codependent relationship. They want to leave, a, see, the nine of cups is them wanting to release themselves from a codependent relationship. 
um, in order to have some type of forward movement to move in your direction. Two of Wands, this is your energy, the Emperor. They want to make a decision here to grow with you, to have abundance with you, to have kids with you, to impregnate you, to have abundance with you. I'm telling you, to grow with you. I'm not joking. Like This person wants some type of passion with you. They want to see where this could go. They went from the Ace of Wands here. They went from the Page of Wands to the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands, for me, is just the, the new beginning. Like it's the, it's the opportunity. The Page of Wands, to me, is someone actually putting forth the communication to send out to the other person to let them know that they always wanted this relationship with you. They could be explaining how their feelings or their, their emotions about um, why or the reason to this relationship not happening or them communicating their emotions, right? And it's like, what I'm getting is that this person is like, they're expressing themselves very passionately to you. And you're probably like, what in the world? Where did this come from? They're, the way they're talking to you is very passionate. But it's crazy because they still haven't come to a conclusion that they want to be in a relationship. Okay? Okay, tell me more. Yeah, strength. I feel like something, this person feels a little discouraged here. Um, even though they want to come in very strongly here. Yeah. They want to come in. Six of Swords, Nine of Wands. This person really, really does want to come in. But they're just so damn indecisive here. Like the Two of Pentacles, they're so indecisive. They, Okay, let me tell you something. I hate to say it, but you guys, this is a coward. Or they're coming off as a coward. And I feel so bad. This person could be a coward, you guys. But it makes sense. I mean, they were spying on you guys. So someone's coming off as a, as a coward. You know, not really feeling um, mascul masculine and like they're not coming forth like that. There is no masculine energy in this. They're not, they're not coming off as a masculinity, like, you know, bringing forth some type of masculinity or anything. They could feel a little emasculated but or whatever the word is. But I feel like like this right here, this net is like a web, they could be sending you communication through the web. Somebody could be sending you communication through the web or I don't know. It feels like they're hiding behind something here with the communication that they're sending to you. So you guys, somebody might, okay, for some of you guys, I really feel like somebody here is going to um, show their identity or they're finally, you're going to get their identity or you're going to figure out who this person is. Or for some of you guys, they might tell you. Um, it's like they were, I feel like someone did something and you figured it out. Like, oh, this is the person. Maybe they liked your status on accident or commented and forgot their name was already, you know what I'm saying? Their name didn't change on, I'll give an example, YouTube or something. Somebody leave a comment. I mean, that has happened to me before. <laughs> I was like, no. So I just feel like something, someone's hiding my, this person is um, a little, you know, cowardly. Okay, so the moon is in reverse. This is your energy. <laughs> okay. You are not really putting forth, hmm. Obviously, something has been revealed because the moon is in reverse. So something has been definitely been revealed here. And there is communication that is happening between two people. I see that. There is communication that is happening. Um, you guys, th this might not be, it's weird. This, I just, I just heard that it might not just be one person that's doing this to you. Um, it might be more than one person. That may be doing this to you. You might have more than one secret admirer or something like here. But whatever it is, this person, I feel like you have unleashed something here. Okay, I feel like at this point, you made it known. That's what it is. I have to solve the seven of wands. So you are making something known. 
this person had to communicate with you in some way for you to have to because I feel like you were guessing for a while but now you know so I'm seeing all this communication coming towards you and you're writing this person back but you're thinking about what you're going to say before you say it you're putting a lot of um like effort into this um I feel like you are actually expressing yourself things that you felt this is like um the moon here with this nine of pentacles, it looks like you are actually expressing deep down inside things that you wanted or things that you need or some type of necessity and love or, you know, I feel like you're definitely releasing something here that maybe you never got to say and you're, you're carefully wording what you're saying here. Okay, this is like you finally getting to say something with the moon here, you're finally getting to say something here that you kind of always wanted to say, that you needed to say. You needed to let this out. And that's exactly what she's doing. You needed to let this out. Tell me more. So yeah, but the will is here. So come on, this person really wants to have a new beginning with you, right? They want to take a leap of faith with you, but uh, they're not moving forward. They're not moving forward. Like, it's almost like, why did you even communicate it? Why did you even say anything? Why did you even come to me? Or why did you even... Like, I feel like you, you really, it's like you, you lay something out for this person or you lay something out on the, like, like you just kind of like you, there was something here that you said that you would have never really said and you said it. And in the moment that you said it, this person still isn't moving forward. So you were spying on me and you did all this for nothing. Because now that you got me to say this, there's nothing that's happening here. Because, yeah, three of cups is in reverse. Okay. There's nothing happening here. Um, possibly because of the three of cups represent friends, family, the company you keep. It's this person. The company they keep, friends, family, what other people will think. It's some type of company that they have around them. And with this emperor here and this, like they care what this person, they care what someone else is going to think. Um, this could be a three-party situation. Okay, for some of you guys, if somebody else is like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like this person is in some type of strong commitment. It could be for some of you guys, or it could be that they're like just in a relationship with someone. For some of you guys, it truly doesn't. I, for most of you guys, I really feel like this person could, if for some of you guys, it doesn't feel something serious. It feels like someone could be actually in a codependent relationship or in a relationship that is codependent, that they really, truly don't really have a lot of love for that person. That's why they're spying on you, communicating to you, gravitating towards you, right? Um, and for some, for some of you guys, I'm telling you, like, it does. It, it does not feel like a... I promise you, for some of the people who I'm talking to, Pisces, this is not a committed relationship that this person is in. This is a codependent relationship where, you know, when they're on, they're on, and when they're off, they're off. And I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like whoever this person is, um, they're not moving forward with you because of the company they keep. That's all I can say is some somebody in their company. Um, I don't know who that could be. It's somebody in their company. Uh, caring too much what other people think, friends, family, sister, brother, cousin, mama, daddy, uncle, uh, people, co-workers, uh, influential people. There's something here that they're not moving forward. Okay, let me, let me see. They're not having a reunion. They're not moving forward with a reunion with you, like in an actual, that's why I feel like this is over the web. That's why I feel like this is communication that's coming in, but it's not, it's not like face to face. Um, it doesn't feel face to face at all because this person is spying, you know, um, 
That's why I said you could get something in the mail or some type of communication. Like someone could even like hand you something face to face, but it's not going to be with this person because this person, there's a cowardly energy here. There's a very coward energy here with this person, um, which I hate that, you know, someone here cannot have the, the strength and the courage here to just play fair. <laughs> You know, um, so let's see here. Tell me more. This person is hiding behind something. They're not, you know, they're not wanting to see you face to face. Yeah, the tower is here. The tower is here. Okay. Oh, wow. So there is something that is about to happen. There's something that is about to happen, Pisces, okay? And I need you to be, because everybody's story is going to be different. Hold on. Okay, look. Sorry, you guys. My back started hurting. So the tower here. Oh, my God. You guys, look. You're not going to believe this until it happens. And I know sometimes when I say my readings, it's like, Sometimes it's like, hold on, this is not happening. For some of you guys, you're like, this is not happening. And then like when you look at it, like maybe a year from now, two years from now, five months from now, four months from now, these are warnings and messages. So look, if you're dealing with someone or you don't know this person, this person, okay, yeah, this person does start talking to you and communicating to you, right? But then it's like they kind of recoil. Something stops moving forward, right? So it's like... I don't get it. Like you're releasing your deepest emotions, fears. You're talking to this person and you, 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 it's like you're writing. You guys look like you're writing through the web or you're writing or sending messages in some way. Um, so you'll know who this person is because I don't see that there's a meetup. There's no meetup. There's no face to face type of content here that I'm seeing here. So you guys are going to have this, whether it's through text message, email, phone, I don't know. It's something like this, right? But it feels like online. So this is going to happen. If it hasn't happened yet, this is going to happen for some of you guys. And it's crazy because this person, once you release that, those fears, those secrets, whatever it is that you were holding in that was in there, deep, deep in the subconscious or in your conscious, whatever, you let this be known. I don't know what this did to this person. They kind of like decided not to move forward again, but it's because there's someone in their energy. There's something, there's some type of relationship, codependent relationship they have, and it doesn't feel like a serious relationship. It's like on and off relationship. On One minute they're on, next minute they're off. One minute they're on, next minute they're off. You feel me? Um, if it's not a relationship like that, it's relationship to some type of friends and fucking family. You know what I'm saying? Could be an employee. Uh, I don't know. Anyone that they're close to that they fuck with and they're bad company. They're not good company. They're not good company. They're not, um, you know somebody who's going to like be there forever so the tower is going to come in and fuck that shit up the tower moment is going to come in so either they're going to be completely separated from that person or the person could bring a three party in the situation and fuck it up i'm telling you like there's going to be some type of unfortunate situation that's going to happen with this other person and the company that they keep whether it's a relationship or whether it's a friendship or whether it's family okay or whether it's a co-worker or work relationship whatever it is there's going to be some type of unfortunate event that's going to happen here and it's going to separate that person sever something here right that's what i'm saying it's going to happen you mark my fucking words. It's going to happen. I know this stuff. All right. So let's tell me more spirit. So they're going to be like, there's going to be a fucking tower moment here with the whoever this is. This on and off fucking relationship where there's like not even that much passion here or, um, or love. <laughs> or it's going to be something like in regards to a friendship or just family. There's going to be a tower moment that they're going to have with that person. Tell me more spirit. And then the seven of cups. Okay. Oh, gosh. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. So when this happens, this person is going to be really... Do I want to say that? Yes, I do want to say that. Um, do I don't want to say an awakening almost, 
but I'm seeing, I'm hearing realization. They're coming to some type of realization here with the Page of Swords. So when it comes to you, they're going to come to some type of realization here um, about a situation with you. Yep, the hermit here. <laughs> they're going to be coming to some type of realization, but I feel like they're still going to be confused about what choice to make. Okay. And it's crazy because... The Seven of Cups is letting me know that they know that they have a choice. Like, nothing is standing in this person's way. With the Seven of Cups, there's no blockage here. Someone is able to make a choice or make a decision, but they're confused in their judgment. They're confused in their judgment here because I think in a way this scared the shit out of them because they realized that, I don't know, things could be taken away, like... Almost like this really happened. Like, like yes, the Wheel of Fortune came in with the tower in reverse. This is an unfortunate fucking event here that has happened among a relationship or a person or a codependent. And it's very codependent because they're so used to having these or these people or this person to lean on or like a clutch. And now they they're, this opens up options and choices for them in regards to you. They feel, they still feel discouraged. It's like, almost like they don't want to be the one, but they come to realization. Look how this page is looking at this forward. This person has come to some type of realization. <laughs> okay. About a choice, a decision that they have made. And it is regarding not having an equal give and take with you. Or not doing, not compromising with you, not being fair with you. They have a choice here now. They always had a choice. But for some reason, I don't know, it's almost like they're realizing now about the choices, the consequences of their choices and actions. And now they're being brought another opportunity here to make a choice or decision in regards to you, but they still feel discouraged, right? This is that be careful what the fuck you wish for cards. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. In a relationship, whoever this person is, Pisces, is, you'll know if it's your story. Okay? Don't try to make this shit fit if it don't fit for you. Okay? Y'all keep showing me love. I'm going to keep giving y'all these messages. So look, be careful what the fuck you wish for. This does not feel like your energy, Pisces. This is the person you're dealing with because they, I have not seen their face yet in this reading. They have not popped up once in this reading. I haven't seen, you know, their energy strong. That means that they're still like hiding behind something, feelings, emotions. I don't give a damn. Hiding behind a truck, hiding behind uh, the internet, something, you know, and this is that be careful what you wish for. OK, or you just might get it. So there is a relationship, a friendship or a group of people that this person is going to have a tower moment with. They're going to be pulled away from that. And then they're going to be like, damn, thinking about the choices that they made, having coming to some type of realization. And now they're going to have a make a, They're going to have another choice that they need, they're going to have to make. But they're they're in fear. It's like somebody who's. I feel like they're they're also in fear of making the wrong choice, okay? They're in fear after this situation, they're going to be in fear of making another choice, making the wrong choice again. Tell me more. Some of you guys, this is happening. This happened in the past, okay? Depending on where you are on your journey. For some of you guys, this is present. And for most of you guys, this is future energy, Okay, tell me more. It's the last card. Tell me more, Spirit. Woo! Hierophant. I'm telling you guys. Somebody wants to do the right thing. Somebody wants to do right by you, Pisces. Somebody is in fear of making 
some type of wrong choices after a situation that was very unfortunate for them, they're in fear of making the wrong choice in regards to you. So is Pisces the right choice? Is Pisces the wrong choice? Should I do this? Should I not do this? But with the Hierophant here, I feel like someone here is, man, I don't know why I feel like someone is still in amaze, amazement, but someone will be taking a leap of faith here and releasing themselves from this devil energy, whether it's a Capricorn or whether it's a situation that is just fucking codependent or toxic, whatever the hell that they're in. I feel like they're going to get to that point, but it's going to take them seeing something here. I don't know, it's like almost like someone told, maybe, yeah, it's going to take this person seeing something, seeing something or falling out with the situation. There could have been a three-party situation that they realize about the other person. Um, maybe that that person was playing them all along. This is so funny to me. But they were getting played because whoever these people were or whoever this person was, was not their friend, was not their homie, their lover, their friend, was not the group of people they should have been with, was not the relationship they should have been with. Or even if it's a marriage or something serious or whatever, which I don't feel like it, but for some of you guys, it could be, they realized that they were being fucking played. And whew, they have a choice. They have a. They're gonna have a choice, and it's and for some of them, it's going to be. I feel like the choice that they're gonna make has to do with doing the right thing. Let me see. What's crossing this higher thing? What's crossing this higher thing? Yeah, the hangman. This person is really like going to, they're going to be enlightened by something here. They're going to get themselves out of something here. Okay, so that web is showing up again. That same web that was in the strength card is in the hangman. They're going to get themselves out of a predicament they're going to come to some type of, it's an enlightenment. It's awareness or enlightenment, seriously. And they're going to be laying their burdens down. They're going to drop a situation. It could be humiliation that they're going to be trying to release some type of humiliation, um, embarrassment. It feels like embarrassment here. These All these people watching, all these people watching this person. You know, they were having victory at one time. They're going to get to the point where they're going to try to release that. There's some type of embarrassment here because this is you getting the victory that you want. This is you getting the praise and the, um, I don't know, some type of praise, right, of something. But it feels like they're burdened by, <laughs> they're burdened by something here that they weren't really victorious in, right? Um Somebody here doesn't really feel like the man anymore, right? Feel like a fucking loser. Maybe this was you trying to offer your love at one time. Pisces, trying to be a friend, trying to do something right. But I do feel like someone's going to come to their fucking senses here. They're going to be enlightened, awakened by a situation. And they're going to want to be like, now they're going to want to fucking, seriously, it's crazy. Because I feel like you are actually like, wow, really, Pisces? Why did I get that you're, you're concerned about this person? When it happens, I feel like there's a concerning energy coming from you. Pisces, there's a concern. There's a concerning energy coming from you. Um... I feel like you're going to be like, you're going to be there. You're going to be, you're going to be around and confident. Like, what do they call that? A confidant or confident, like a confidant. No, I, I'm, I can't stand it. I can't say the word. You're going to be someone this person can confide in. When shit gets crazy and stuff hits the fan, they're going to come and confide in you. Yep. They're going to come, they're going to come looking, searching you out, searching for you, or um, they're going to come, they're going to come towards you, but they're going to be um, 
something about confidant confidant they're gonna you're gonna be their confidant or something like that like you're gonna they're gonna confide in you and you're going to you're going to be like a teacher or you're gonna be you know you're gonna be doing the right thing <laughs> Pisces you're showing up as a person who's doing the right thing here you're doing the right thing tell me more tell me more King of Pentacles. Tell me more. Wow, this person is going to be wanting a <laughs> person is going to be wanting a second chance with you. Um, they're going to be opening. <laughs> oh yeah, they're going to be opening up about their emotions here, bearing their soul. They're about to rely, like seriously though, they're going to be really like counting on you, relying on you to get them through something or to communicate with them at this time of their despair, like confusion. Yeah, five of swords. This person got played. They got played. Damn. You'll see. It's all going to come out. You know, the sad part about this reading is that I feel like, Pisces, why do I feel like you're saying, I told you so? Why do I feel like you possibly had some type of communication with this person back in the days, maybe some months ago or a year ago, years ago, and... There was something you said in your communication because the moon is in reverse. It's like you were recording this happening. Like you knew that this was going to fucking go down. You knew this was going to happen or something like that. Like I'm hearing you saying, I told you so, or I knew I was right, or you knew that this was going to happen or someone here. You, I don't know. I'm just hearing I told you so. And you know what? This is your energy. You're feeling pretty confident about the situation. I felt like you've always felt confident. There was bumps in the roads. Maybe you were a little confused at what was actually happening behind the scene. But nonetheless, I'm seeing you take notes. Maybe you started off doing that in the beginning, but whatever it is that you said, it, it looks like it happened. So if you told someone, yep, this is what's going to happen if you choose this person over me, or this is what's going to happen if you, I don't know, do things that are like, you know, it's like treats, treat. It's like that saying um, that you learn in like what, kindergarten or something? It's like treat, something about treat people how you want to be treated <laughs> so you know someone had to be careful what you wish for someone had to see it for themselves someone had to see this shit for themselves you know what i'm saying someone truly had to see this for themselves they had to see it for themselves then once they did it's like you were still around to be this person confidant for some for them to be someone to confide in. Um, you still was there to tutor, teach, or be a friend, or maybe you said I told you so. Mm-hmm. 